Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I've just done uh, Andrew and Sarah and Beatrice and Ido, and now I'm going to do Eugenie and Jack. And uh, we're going to do a uh, prediction. What's 2024 going to look like for them? Uh, what's the most important highlights of the year? Uh, what will it look like by the time we get to this time next year? So Eugenie and Jack. Eugenie and Jack. Eugenie and Jack. What's going on with Eugenie and Jack? Eugenie and Jack. Eugenie and Jack. 2024. 2024. What are we going to see for them? Oh, the book. Okay. We there's something going on in that in the York family that we are not to know about because we got the book uh, for all three of them now. Lily's house, heart, message, ring, moon, fox, friend, cross, letter. They all got the letter and they all got the book. Um, and they all got the ring. So something is going on that we are not to know about. Um, Eugenie has a friend that's going to double cross her. She doesn't even see it coming. She doesn't even see it coming. I wonder if we can all guess who that is. Um... There's, everybody in her home is going to do well. Um, their home is going to be a nice, secure, happy place filled with love. Um, other than this friend double-crossing them, I don't see anything bad for them. Actually, um, here she is, a mother bear. I think she's just going to enjoy the peace and quiet of uh, being a mom. Um, I think uh, they've got their happy little family they might decide to wrap that up, just have the two. And of course, that's personal information. I don't think they'd come out and say, yeah, Jack got snipped. No, we would never hear that. But I think um, I think they, they've kind of come to an agreement that they're, that they're going to stop at two um, uh, and just have their happy little, little family. Um, they're all getting along really great. The clock agrees with me. Um, I think there's going to be some kind of public something about Eugenie and uh, letter. There'll be something public exposed, and that will be the friend that back back that uh, backstabs her, um, uh, like a text will be exposed, or a letter, or an email, or a DM, or something, and it'll be from a friend. Um, and it'll be very public and uh, it might stick with her for a while. Um, you know how some things kind of roll off your back and you go, yeah, okay, this too shall pass. I think this, whatever this is, will stick with her for quite a while. Um, yeah, something will be exposed um, that she doesn't want exposed and it's from a friend. Yeah, she's going to be backstabbed real badly, hard, really hard. It's going to take her a while to get over it. Um, and, and even it'll take a while for the public uh, to uh, get over it as well, um, especially with the tower here. So it's something that she's done in the past is going to be exposed. And uh, and and she she will be really kind of hurt by it for a very long time very long time um looks like you know they've really got you know they're they're a really happy little family i mean you can't take that away from them i you know i don't see you know big increase in income here uh like the others i don't see a move here um it just shows they're really happy we've got the heart and that and the house and that shows everybody in the house is happy um 
uh, we got the mama bear here. Your efforts will bear fruit. Um, even though she's being backstabbed by one friend, she does have uh, someone she can count on that will bring her some um, some peace of mind. Um, yeah, you know, there. she has a real opportunity to create a really cozy, beautiful little family this this year. Um, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of, of work opportunities for her. Um, I think, I think she's just going to enjoy her two little ones, but there's something about this book that is, um, will kind of be the speed bump in all of their lives this year. So the York family, they've got something secret that they that it it will be exposed it will actually be exposed i wouldn't be surprised if it's exposed about andrew and sarah um i wonder if andrew and sarah are like secretly married or something and then that's accidentally exposed or we find out that they are getting married or um but there's some kind of secret that's a that that she's that she's holding back um I don't think it's the same secret as this one that this person exposes. I think she'll be uh, dragged out kind of into um, the public eye a little bit more than she wants to. Um, but yeah, something something from the past is is creeping up on them. So whether that's a health issue that Sarah has or things, you know, maybe they have other hidden skeletons in the closet um, something about the orcs will be exposed this year and it'll be exposed through Eugenie. Um, she was the only one who got the moon, so that's exposure. Um, and especially with the fox on top of it, that's an opportunist. But yeah, I don't know. I don't see them having another little one. Um... I don't see her like busting out into becoming a big career woman. Um, I think uh, I think she's just going to um, just be happy being a, a, a mom of two little ones and good on her. Good on her. Um, I don't see them doing anything new this year, to tell you the truth. Their, their year is going to be same old, same old. No new babies, no no new houses, no new, just same old, same old, and then deal with gossip and exposure and, and that kind of stuff, which is par for the course, I guess. So that's what I see for them. So it sounds like they're going to have a good little year, just a couple of little speed bumps that they have to deal with. And I, I'm just wondering what this secret is. And I never do clarifiers on it. When the book comes up, I honor that the deck that the cards don't want us to know. Um, every time I've tried to push that envelope, I, I, it gives me wrong answers. <laughs> Honestly, I, I swear to God. Uh, so I don't ask anymore. We just have to um, live with not knowing. When it's our turn to know, the universe will let us know. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm just about done the Royals. I've got to do Edward and Sophie and a couple of others. And then we're done with the predictions for the Royals. And then I'm going to get into some um, world ones and whatnot. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I sure appreciate you. Take good care. Bye for now.